It looks a bit like an overgrown spark plug, but hooked into your engine, this device may soon allow your car to run on a lot less gasoline and release fewer smog-causing emissions to boot. The efficiency of the, the vehicle it could be 30% greater than it is presently available. Leslie Bromberg is a professor in the Plasma Research Center at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's confident we'll soon be hearing a lot more about this invention, which has been dubbed the Plasmatron. The operator will not notice any difference, uh, with the difference that he, he'll have to spend substantially less money for his fuel, and he'll be able to breathe some cleaner air. And how does the Plasmatron pull off this trick? Well, according to Bromberg, it comes down to one simple thing. It's all about hydrogen. Engineers have known for a long time that highly combustible hydrogen gas can be used to increase engine efficiency. Added to a car cylinder, it helps create ideal conditions for what's called a lean burn. You can operate with more air and higher compression ratios. The result is an engine that's both cleaner and more efficient. The problem is, hydrogen is hard to carry around, and you can't buy it at the local gas station. That's why the MIT group think they could be onto something big. The Plasmatron acts as a kind of onboard oil refinery, using ordinary fuel, like gasoline or diesel, to generate hydrogen on the go. Here's how it works. As the name implies, the secret of the Plasmatron is plasma. It's a superheated form of matter that's filled with electrically charged particles. Plasma exists in nature on the sun and in lightning, and it has some very unusual properties. The first thing that comes to mind is the plasma glows. In this case, this is atmospheric plasma. It's glowing a very pretty color. Plasma is also very energetic. There are particles moving with great velocity inside this plasma. All that velocity means plasma can break apart the molecules of almost any hydrocarbon fuel. Paul Thomas says it acts a lot like a chemical version of rush hour traffic. Cars tend to kind of crash into each other, pieces break off, fenders fall off. Sort of the same thing happens in this plasma. The energetic particles in plasma can take on nearly any hydrocarbon fuel, from gasoline to diesel and break it down to release hydrogen gas. According to Romberg, it's a process that could help the combustion engine live up to its full potential. If a vehicle gives you 20 miles to the gallon uh, today, the same type vehicle, same, um, uh, same performance, same size, would give you between 28 and 30 miles per gallon. There's still some work to be done. There's not much room under the hood of a modern car, even for a device as small as the Plasmatron. But the group at MIT is working closely with industry reps to overcome that hurdle. We feel fairly confident that this technology will work. The use of hydrogen has been known for a long time. The only thing that prevented it from being implemented was there was no hydrogen source. If all goes according to plan, we may see the Plasmatron reducing smog as early as the spring of 2004. Part of the appeal will be the cost, just a couple hundred dollars for something that really clears the air. And that's good news no matter how you get around.